Hello, my name is Mark. In this segment, we're going to cover uh, how to prevent your engine from overheating. There are several things that can cause your vehicle to overheat or run excessively hot, and I'll kind of touch briefly on each one of those. Um, the first thing is, is lack of maintenance. The vehicle's cooling system needs to be flushed out. Um, most manufacturers recommend um, every three years or 36,000 miles. That information can be found in the owner's manual in each and every vehicle, and you should look that up to check the service intervals. Um, you can take that into a shop, and they can professionally do that, where they just recycle the antifreeze, they hook a machine up to your engine, flush that system out, remove all the impurities, uh, restore the pH factor of the antifreeze so it's not so aesthetic and causing the corrosion, and keep the vehicle system um, maintenance up to date without removing and discarding um, the old antifreeze. It helps the environment, and it, it, it's really a good sound way of keeping the cooling system maintained. That's the first and key most important thing. Uh, another thing that causes a problem, especially down in the uh, southeastern region of the United States, is bug deposits. As you're driving along, bugs get sucked up into your intake, air intake system down here and up in through the radiator or the intake vents and get clogged into the radiator. And that prevents the air from getting through the radiator and cooling correctly. Uh, the only way you can do is just simply remove the grill and whatnot. You get in with a brush and uh, lightly brush those, remove them, or have them pressure cleaned out. That's another thing that happens. Also because of the way the cars are designed today, smaller, lighter, higher horsepower weight ratios get better gas mileage. They've made the cooling systems as small as possible to keep the engine cool under normal driving conditions. So if you put it under extreme load condition where you've got a full load on the vehicle, towing a trailer, and going up a mountain pass, it'll have a tendency to climb up and really overwork the cooling system. Another way you can help to alleviate this is by turning your heater on inside the car, rolling down your window so you don't get heated out. But the heater will help dissipate that extra heat in a situation like that where you have uh, overwork of your cooling system. Those are some of the things that can cause your vehicle to overheat or run hot, and those are some of the ways you can help prevent it. Thank you for watching.